All right, coming to you from Clubhouse Cards in the South Hills. Uh, Freddie and I decided uh, we're in charge today, so we're going to do what we want to do. So, uh, so we did actually get Leaf Draft in today. We thought it was pretty cool because they could have uh, the guy that you see on the front here, Trevor Lawrence, the Clemson quarterback, that's going to be the number one pick. Um, probably for the Jacksonville Jaguars, unless there's some wheeling and dealing going on. Who knows? Um, I've heard everything from uh, – I think they already traded the number three picks, already been traded. I heard that eight might get traded, which is the Panthers. I heard uh, five may get traded. So there's a lot of wheeling and dealing. So we'll see what's going on here in the, the next month or so with all this stuff going on. Um, so we got a few new products. We got the Contenders in, of course, and then we got this Leaf Draft, and we still have some Tops Tribute, and we still have some Select in. And then we've got some other products. So uh, this is a cool product because this is one of the first ones to have uh, Trevor in it. And, uh, you know, the select could have him in it if he's the number one pick and you get that that XR, XRC, right, is yep. what it's called, Freddie. I know you guys opened it uh, on Wednesday and kind of showed it. And it was unbelievable. I mean, it was uh, it, good. just what you guys opened. And I watched a few breaks here and there, and it was like – amazing so anyway let's get to it uh see if i get something cool here see if there's something exciting some of these guys i don't know um you know i haven't kept up with football i don't know if i'm blaming on covid or being busy or my kids running around or what so um but you know i still love it when they get into the nfl and you get to see what you're you're looking at so that's what it kind of looks like which they kind of changed up this is what freddie was telling me this is is a hobby version uh from leaf so it looks like they've got a um a already uh, put together card i'll try to cover that up so um they're in in a top loader which is actually very nice of them if any of you are in collecting you know that uh soft sleeves and top loaders are uh, really difficult to get <laughs> so right now so um a little box of cards here uh oh look at that right off the bat we got a trevor lawrence so that's pretty good so, that's pretty good so that is pretty good um that's a pretty good card right off the bat, having him in there. And, of course, um, the thing you hear sometimes with Leaf, I actually like Leaf cards. I think they're nice when they get into Flash and they get into all these different kind of colors and variations. But a lot of people don't like them because they don't have the logos, right? So because Panini has all the uh, licensing for that. So, uh, But, you know, they still have great value. They still are fun to collect. Um, you know, the, this draft's really nice because you can put together a set usually – at a reasonable price. Uh, I feel like everything now is not that reasonable, but still still fun. So if you've got the means to do so. So all right, I'm going to try to show these to you guys as we go here. Oh, look at there. This is a quarterback box, Justin Fields. He might go three. He might go five. He might go eight. They don't know. Zach Wilson. So is this thing only quarterbacks? It says three autos, but it doesn't say. There's got to be somebody else in here. Is there only quarterbacks coming out in the draft? So, <laughs> so Wow. So maybe I just don't know that much about this product. So another Mac, quarterback, another quarterback. Yeah, they, they they actually all are. So so far so good. So good. So is he a quarterback? He looks like a lefty. Yep, another quarterback. They must be. We must be loaded up. This must be a quarterback. So that may be good news for us. So all rookies. I don't know all these guys. Okay, now we got some running backs. Right, this is the kid from Alabama. He's a good player. I think he's going to be a first round pick. So I recognize the name Chuba, Chuba, Hubbard, Chuba, Hubbard. I'm reading upside down. So uh, Killian Hill, there's a little Michigan guy. You can actually see the helmet really well. Sometimes they like kind of blob them out and you can't really tell like if he goes to Kentucky or did, where did he go to school. So, you know, but this one you definitely can see where he went. <laughs> so it's Michigan. So. Some of these guys might be on your team. These guys might be Steelers. They might be uh, Bengals. They might be Cowboys, whoever you pull for. So um, I always like the cool guys that get drafted later or undrafted that make teams and make something. So uh, he's a pretty good player, Devontae Smith. So Heisman. He's a yeah, Heisman guy, right? So mm -hmm. Ohio State, right? You come out of Ohio State? Mm, I think he's Alabama, isn't he? Is he Alabama? That's a totally different uniform. So, Smith, yeah. So, Jay and Waddle, Nico Collins. It's like he's another Michigan guy. You see these, they're, they're kind of like matted color. It's Jamar Chase. He's one of the best uh, wide receivers at LSU. 
Um, they're really nice. I mean, they're almost good enough to, like, if you wanted to take them to training camp and you wanted to have them sign them, you could use them for that, too, and they would they would do well, so either with a, you know, Sharpie or a paint pen. I don't know a ton of people that do that, but, you know, it is an option instead of getting an index card or a football helmet, whatever like that. So I just like the way they feel. Um, you know, I know a lot of people love the shiny, but they're really clear, uh, and, and I like the matte finish to them, so they, they feel durable. So, Sertain, he's a good player, Alabama defensive player. That's what they're known for. So, of course, they've got a quarterback this year, right, coming out, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's going to be really good. So, Terrence Marshall Jr., looks like he's another wide receiver, All-American. So, there's Jamar Chase as well. Devontae Smith, the wide receiver, Alabama. Trey Travis. Anthony, 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 maybe? There's Nadja Harris again. There's Mac Jones. There's all kinds of Alabama. Kyle Trask. Looks like he's a quarterback, All-American. Wow, 6'5", 240. Big boy. So there's Zach Wilson. I think he's going to be a top 10, I believe. So, and Justin Fields. So, and there's Trevor Lawrence. Another one, All-American. So you see how neat they are. It looks like they got these little inserts, these All-American inserts. Now, sometimes they have them, like, with color. They'll have, like, a little yellow to them. I didn't see any, so I don't know hobby-wise they're coming out. So, All right, so this must be our hits here. So let me open this up. It looks like it's in a little. So our first one is Ronnie Perkins. So it looks like that's a sticker. Rookie card. Um, I don't know if it tells me where he's from. It doesn't. So it looks like he's from... Ohio State, or I'm not sure, Utah maybe, something like that. All right, next guy, Kenny Yeb Yebo, Yebo, maybe, Yebo. Looks like he might be a defensive player. Looks like a, maybe a corner or safety, or he could, I guess he could be, no, 84. He could be a wide receiver. It's on, that is a, a sticker as well. And then Tariq Black, looks like he's a Michigan guy and a sticker. And I saw that, that maybe sometimes they say, or I guess that's the optic. It says it could be on card. So, well, that was kind of funny because we got a ton of quarterbacks in our little common stack here. And then we ended up with, you know, all either uh, wide receivers or um, so there must have been a little trend there. So, but we have this in stock. We have a couple cases. Um, I don't know how much it runs. I don't know if Freddie's priced it yet. I believe it's going to be 60 bucks. 60 bucks. Okay. Uh, don't quote us on that because he's still working on pricing and stuff. Um, tonight we may uh, break a little bit of this optic just to see it um, so people can see what they're kind of getting uh, select if you haven't seen it already it's amazing uh, other things we got going on we always have the Funkos we always have new autograph stuff in we got some mantle stuff we got our rad bike that came in we haven't hung them up yet so we got a lot of cool stuff so come by and see us we'll be open uh, 12 to 7 today at the big store and 12 to 5 tomorrow at the big store and 12 to 5 on Sunday. And then we're closed on Monday, of course. And then our mall store in the Washington Concert Mall is open from uh, 11 to 5 tomorrow. They're 11 to 6 today, Freddie. Is that right? 11 to 7. 11 to 7. 11 to 7 on Friday. And 11 to 5 on Saturday and Sunday. And uh, they actually are now open on Monday. So if you need something quick to come in. So we actually just got some new soft sleeves. Beckett started making those. I thought I just saw those today. Those, so those are, I could actually show those to everybody. Uh, if you are looking for soft sleeves, uh, Beckett just started making their own uh, with all the, everybody is uh, hurting to get them. So we actually got a, a, a case of those in. So we'll have those as well this weekend. So anyway, uh, come by and see us. We appreciate you watching. Thank you.